Good morning, Whitney. Well, if you visit ArizonaGives.org, you'll find Read Between the Bars. It's a program that sends books to inmates while they are locked up. Inmates are able to request everything from books on writing to sci-fi books, but the most popular request Read Between the Bars gets is actually a dictionary. Now, inmates are able to request up to three books every six months. Read Between the Bars says they can't always get one certain book, but will cater to authors and genre type, but it's about so much more than just reading. People who are incarcerated are part of our communities. <laughs> um, they have family members, they have been active citizens, and they're gonna come back into our communities. So do we want them to come back and have had nothing in the last three, five, 10 years, however long they've been incarcerated? Or do we want them to be able to have nurtured their brains and grown and maybe had skills? Read Between the Bars says the last few months have been a big struggle for them because the prisons they used to send hundreds of books to say they don't want to handle the personalized packages anymore and have asked Read Between the Bars to just send packages to the main prison library. But inmates say this doesn't guarantee they'll ever be able to see that book. Now, Read Between the Bars is still accepting donations here at the U of A uh, Poetry Center Library, and they are still able to send some books to some federal facilities, so they would still love your help. We've got more information on how you can get involved with this nonprofit as well as others during Arizona Gives Day right on our website, kagon9.com. Whitney, back to you.